Dick Grayson is the superhero of Nightwing and protege of Batman, and this is the story of how Dick Grayson became the new Deadman. Let me first of all start by explaining who Deadman is. Deadman is a superhero whose real name is Boston Brand, and as the name suggests, he is dead. He was a trapeze artist who was murdered, but when he died, a goddess caught his soul and gave him the opportunity to return to the living world to find out who had killed him. He then became Deadman, a being who is essentially a ghost and who can possess people, but otherwise he can't be seen except for by magic users or if a magic spell is cast to enable people to see him. Marquita went loom, he saw this. We online? Great. Sorry about the Batmobile. I hope your insurance was paid up. <laughs> Boston Brand does of course eventually find out who killed him, but afterwards he decides to stay in the mortal realm and not allow his soul to move on. He does this so that he can fight crime and continue to help others as a superhero. So I was thinking, Mac, maybe you were right about there being a reason I have these powers. Good to have you back among the living, dead man. The story starts in the third year of Injustice, which is basically the year where Batman is working with magic users to use magic to take down Superman. This is because, along with Kryptonite, magic is Superman's only real weakness. For your own well-being, you better come with me. Magic. Sorcery. However, although Batman has several powerful magic uses on his side, such as Dr. Fate, Constantine and Zatanna, unfortunately Superman has the Spectre on his side, and the Spectre of course is a celestial being and has a godlike level of power, and is capable of doing damn near anything with his magic. And the Spectre has decided to protect Superman from Batman, and as Deadman is going to rescue Constantine, he decides to try to deal with the Spectre problem himself. Constantine was trying to take down Superman with the help of Ragman. Now, Ragman has a suit that takes the souls of the corrupted and forces them to repent for their sins by helping Ragman to fight crime. Examples of what happens are that the souls have to take pain when Ragman is hit, so Ragman is fine and they take the damage instead. And they also give their strength to Ragman, which enables him to have super strength, and things of this nature. To put it succinctly, Ragman has a magical outfit that is powered by the souls of the damned to give Ragman superpowers. And Superman by this point is of course a mass murderer, so he is very much a corrupted soul, and so the suit is taking his soul to add to the rest of the condemned souls stored within it. He is saved by the intervention of Shazam, and Ragman is then killed by the Spectre. And after this, Constantine is being flown away by Shazam and the others back to Superman's stronghold. Deadman takes over Shazam's body and drops Constantine into Zatanna's waiting magic hat, which is basically a portal that takes Constantine to safety. After this, Deadman then tries to speak to the Spectre using Shazam's body, but the Spectre senses that he is in control of Shazam's body and forces him out. Now, Deadman thinks that he can reason with the Spectre because his friend Jim Corrigan is the host body for the Spectre, meaning that Jim Corrigan is a part of the Spectre and should be able to take control of it to a certain degree. However, Jim Corrigan is no longer the host body for the Spectre. A new being has taken over him and he decides to kill Deadman. You can't kill a dead man. Well, I say kill, Deadman is obviously already dead. He just forces his soul to move on to what comes next. And as Deadman returns to the goddess who gave him his powers, he is told that she cannot stop what the Spectre has done and that he has to move on. Deadman then asks if he can choose who his replacement will be, and he decides to choose Dick Grayson, who accepts as he wants to go back to helping people again like he did when he was alive. Dick Grayson was of course killed in the first year of the Injustice War by Damian Wayne, though it was kind of an accident. For full details on how he died, look in this video's description for a link to my video explaining Dick Grayson's death. Now, unfortunately, we don't really see much of Dick Grayson as dead man in the comic series, though he does have a very key role in the final issues of Year 3 and helps to save everyone, both Batman and Superman's teams. And hopefully he will make more appearances in the new Injustice 2 comic book series. And that is how Dick Grayson, Nightwing, became dead man. Personally, I think this is a great use of the character as it allows for Dick Grayson to continue being in the series while still being dead, which is of course what creates a huge rift between Damian Wayne and his father Batman. Superman's been more of a father than you ever were. You stopped being my son when you killed Dick Grayson. He was my son. And if the writer had just brought Dick Grayson back to life, it would have ruined this rift between them and it would have been a bit of a cheap cop-out ending. But this way, Dick Grayson stayed dead, but was still able to say goodbye to Batman, his father, and try to help him make amends with Damian Wayne by telling Bruce that his death was an accident and that he doesn't hold Damian responsible, though Batman clearly does. You're dead to me. 
But what do you think of this? Do you like Dick Grayson as Dead Man? Or would you have preferred that Boston Brand had continued as Dead Man? Or that Dick Grayson had never died in the first place? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to add a quick thank you to those of you who have donated to Needermouse Productions page on Patreon. For those who don't know, Patreon is a crowdfunding site that allows people to donate money to creators in exchange for rewards. And to allow the creators to keep on creating, of course. And finally, thank you for watching this video and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.